Hi everyone. My name is Miss Lita. I live right across the street from Margaret Brent and I'm gonna read one of my favorite new stories. Uh, I've been reading it with my son at bedtime. He's actually asleep. It's nap time right now. Um, so I thought I'd read it to you and I hope you'll enjoy it as much as we do. The book is called Cloud Girl by Dale Oates and Stefan Beck. And I really like it because it's about a girl dreaming about having a pet. And when I was little, my mom never let me have a pet. Um, so I really liked this story and what she does. So let's get started. The Adventures of Cloud Girl. Since Susie could remember, she always wanted a pet. but she never could decide just which pet to get. Susie was told, don't just pick the first one you see. Having a pet means loving it unconditionally. I don't know if you can see, but she's looking at a whole bunch of different animals. So on her favorite hilltop, she looked to the sky she hoped that the clouds could help her decide. A turtle can be ridden, though they move very slow. A giraffe takes big steps, but they're hard to pat on the nose. Although I have patted a giraffe on the nose before. It's very wet. Vultures are freaky. Bats hide from the sun. A monkey would be funny, but the cleanup is no fun. So many to choose, Susie couldn't decide. Then she saw something right there in the sky. A fluffy white cloud. How about this little guy? Oh, he's so cute. Fluffy. No fur, no drool, no poo-poo on the street. Mom only needs to worry about my muddy feet. Fluffy loves to fetch. <laughs> and Fluffy loves to chase. Could you imagine a cloud chasing some dogs? <laughs> but when Fluffy barks, they all run from the place. That's a big crack. <laughs> there is the occasional puddle on the floor. Did you know that a cloud can go under a door? But the best thing of all is that Fluffy can become anything I imagine under the sun. A teddy, a whale, or small like a mouse. A giant Fluffosaurus as big as a house. A digger, a robot, a monster with big teeth, a crazy eight-legged tentacled beast. Dress up for tea, a pirate sailing the sea, an astronaut in space. I think the cloud is an alien and she's the astronaut. Imagination takes us all over the place. Or what if the water runs low? Look, all the trees are dry and sad. 
Fluffy could rain so the gardens can grow. What if there was a great burning fire? No one could stop it, so the flames just got higher. Nothing to worry, just one quick trip. <laughs> Fluffy's got a straw, I don't know if you can see it, drinking up a lake. Susie, clear the building. Fluffy, let it rip. <laughs> That'd be pretty funny if a cloud rains just on one building. They'd be heroes. The town's beloved savior, Fluffy and Cloud Girl, environmental crusaders. Susie imagined all the things that could be. Yes, a cloud named Fluffy. That's the pet for me. And there she is walking Fluffy in her neighborhood. And that's the end. I hope you enjoyed Cloud Girl as much as Nico and I do. Um, and I hope you are reading lots of fun books while we're all stuck at home. And Nico and I hope to see you in the fall at Margaret Brent. Bye.